Good morning. Uh, I'm here. I'm visiting Simon for a couple days and um, today we actually got up, felt very productive and made a big to-do list. And I already started with my favorite chores. Um, so we got lots of groceries which I put up on the shelves and stored away and I tidied up the galley. And um, one chore that I really love is vacuuming and Simon actually got this little shop vac and it runs on the little lithium batteries just like the other tools and it's very powerful and I just had a lot of fun vacuum downstairs here so check 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 three things off the list already um yeah but well, we have more to do uh some work and a little bit of play so yeah see you later I'm gonna lose my head even if it takes all So Simon got a nice little brush, a dog brush for Champ and just used it on him. But now we figured out Champ prefers the big dirty brush. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, that's a good spot. There, right there. <laughs> Maybe I'm just as lonely as the next man. Simon asked me to film an episode a little while ago and I thought about it so this weekend that's what I'm doing. I'm collecting all the clips and he's gonna cut them together. Well I wanted you to film a episode. One episode, yeah. And you wanted to, you were the one and who I asked me to. first. Did I? Yeah. It's not easy. I have a lot of respect for your job. <laughs> <laughs> no, you just need more narcissism. You need to be more full of yourself. Just, um, yeah. just you gotta firmly believe that everything you do is interesting and that strangers yeah. on the internet actually want to see. It's not so much about showing interesting things because being out here with you, of course, it's an interesting thing, and we have lots of stuff to show on a busy weekend where we check a lot of things off the list. It's more the technicalities of filming. I mean, look at this, like. I'm I'm trying to give it a good shot, like, look, the whole family in the shot, okay, uh -huh. good. But, um, yeah, the technicalities of filming, talking on camera, I mean, I tried it a couple times alone now, and I felt weird, so that's why it's yeah. m I feel more comfortable now yeah. that I'm talking to you. So I'm, I'm the director of this <laughs> episode, because, uh, you know, I write a diary, and that seems similar, like catching moments, and as a log. Yeah. Every good boat needs a log. I like Vern's truck. <laughs> We're at Black Vern's paper. house and we're here to pick up some special glue. Yeah, oh, yeah. Glue for me and a breaker box. And, and some a breaker water. box. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. Working on it. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. Butter burr. Butter burr. Can you eat it? You can, but it, there's quite a process to be able to use it, so. Hmm, it looks cool. <laughs> and any other one, I have some of the red with one pin, but it has a bunch of breaks. Well, you use any other one? The big, is it bigger? What's the well, other? it's, you know, it's a regular house. Oh, it's a huge, okay, yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. probably too big for it. I love exploring and walking around Lynn's and Vern's oh, garden. Hey, Paradise. <laughs> Vern, you should take your tree out of here, though. This is my least favorite part of boat life right now. I shouldn't be doing this. Electricity, good. Diesel, bad. Mm. <laughs> well, we're not using it for a motor, so we're just needing. Need yeah, we're burning it even more dirtily. Yeah. Well, we gotta stay warm. 
Hot water bottle is not everything. That's why we have a puppy. Yeah. It's like a little furnace. That's we put true. him in bed with us and it's fine. Yeah. What do we need all this dirty diesel for, huh? Mm. Good morning. It's colder than we thought it would be today, uh, but I'm still enjoying sitting up on the roof of the boat. It's really beautiful and quiet here. So we were good and productive yesterday. A few things we still need to do today on the work side of the to-do list. And there's also a couple things on the play side of the to-do list that we're gonna do today. It took me a while to get used to being filmed when I first met Simon because I am i don't use social media much, I don't have a phone to do that. Um, but I've always enjoyed his creations and also being part of them. And I've been inspired the longer I saw him creating to also pick up the camera once in a while. And I really enjoyed capturing little moments and, and it's vulnerable but um yeah i still wanted to do it so this is the weekend when i'm doing it uh, i'm a woman of words but i do enjoy photography and filming so it's fun trying out this other medium so i will be spending lots of time out here with him on his boat but yeah i'm with one eye also looking at boat life I've moved countries and continents a lot, so I downsized every time I, I moved and I'm living very minimally, but yeah, I haven't found really my ideal kind of uh, lifestyle yet. So yeah, we'll see if I like living on the water all the time, not just visiting, like when I visit here. Maybe I'm just as lonely as the next one I need to feel the heat of something skin deep falling into distraction I need a distraction Okay, so we've done our morning chores, insulation, um, staircase framing and hung out with Captain Steve Captain Steve <laughs> and Captain Packrat talking boat stuff and talking futuristic vehicles and um, inventions and how much of a crush I have on Elon Musk <laughs> okay <laughs> and um, now we're gonna play a little bit and enjoy the sunshine so we're going to the Malaspina galleries which is a really pretty spot on Gabriola that both uh, Simon and I haven't been yet so we're going there right now we're gonna have a picnic by the beach we're gonna eat snacks and Champ is gonna eat snacks. washed out and we have the gorgeous 
What can I get to you? Would you like the pasta? Hey. Oh, oh, oh. He has a big wet nose in the eyeball. <laughs> That's good. Big pasta dinner coming our way. Oh. Oh, my arms. Oh. <laughs> Trust fall. Oh, yeah. The key to making a good vegan pasta is just, instead of putting meat in it, you just throw the entire garden at it. Big bowl of pasta after a hard day is nice. Involves making triple portions of sauce. Cheers. Big pasta dinner. Big pasta. Beautiful sunny morning. Talking about sun, <laughs> one thing that wasn't on the list was to bring another solar panel over to the boat. So Simon's doing that now. Yeah, a uh, funny thing because my battery bank is higher voltage than the old 12 volt, MPPT solar charge controllers will not charge unless they have 130% the battery voltage coming in. So a regular solar panel puts out like 38 volts. This one puts out like 48, roughly. I'm already running 48, so I basically need two panels in series just to charge. It's gonna be a lot of amperage just for one battery, but whatever. At least it'll charge. And I won't be short on power, that's for damn sure. 660 watts already. Very easy. <laughs> Good morning, champ. Hmm. It's always very silent in Dagnan Bay, and the one source of noise usually 
comes from Simon. <laughs> Bye. Oh, there's no room for me and Champ in the boat. All right, buddy. So we're just gonna sit here and watch Simon and hope he doesn't fall in the water with that precious solar panel. Right? And we enjoy the sun. <laughs> there he goes. He made it. So, here's that to-do list. Lots of things checked off. Work and play. A couple extra things added to the list. Oop. Check off. A couple things we didn't do, like um, the dishes. Yeah, I still gotta do the dishes. <laughs> and I realized I can't do the fridge until I wire in um, a plumbing system. Exactly. Because it's water cooled. So, the fridge didn't happen. The dishes didn't happen because I don't know. Uh, we didn't cut up any firewood and you just said you're running out of wood. So maybe we could, we do, could that. do that. Yeah. Cause it's nice and sunny and that's something uh -huh. to do on the outside. So well, that's a, let's do that. You could do that. Yeah. I got more electronic work to do okay. as usual. Maybe we should take a tiny walk so Champ can stretch out his legs sure. after a long sleep. Sure. And I can't forgive myself if I don't tell you to. Watching from a distance, you'll be seeing the truth. Should I be holding on to nothing if it's all I have left? Slip away, I know this, you'll forgive and forget. So this is the Minbari. This is one of Vern's old boats and Melly, Melly's putting the word out that she'll <laughs> give 800 bucks for it. I pay $800 for this one. Yeah, it is <laughs> the, quite The short, story actually. about the boat is interesting though because Vern bought and sold it three times. He's bought it back twice. So it means <laughs> he's bought it three times. So Vern kind So I think it. if third time's a charm, he's probably going to buy it back again. And then I'm going to give him $800. But look at the size of this pulpit, it's massive. It's a very pretty boat. And I take Lynn's word that it is really nice inside as well. Cute bull's oh, eyes. The, the cockpit's tiny though. Oh, look at that board. Ooh, that's not gonna work. And she said, what kind of sails were on it, she said? Tan bark, originally. So, or like red, oh, brown yeah, red. And so my sails would be a bit like that. Although these ones look vinyl red, so they're not tan bark. Tan bark's a rougher material. That. <laughs> it's going to be really crowded for Done. Solar setup's done, right? Keep it up. Do it again. All that shit. He yelled at me and all that shit. So we're having lunch on the roof next to the solar panels. Little sunshine. Don't kill nobody. Enjoying the sun, and we're eating lunch, and we're watching the neighbors. We're watching out for neighbors because there's not many. Nice lunch. Oh, well, I just wanted to say thanks for lunch. It was delicious, and it was super nice sitting on the roof in the sunshine. And um, still a bit breezy. I could go for a couple more degrees of warmth before. Yeah. I can't wait to swim in this water. This bay is so yes. clean. It's gonna be so nice. And I just made a plan yeah. of um, swimming over to this island. Are you gonna swim over there? Yeah, we're gonna swim over there and have lunch. Have a dinghy. Or maybe this. How are we gonna bring the lunch over for swimming? In a bag tied to our necks. Okay. Chad, go back in there. Go back. Back. I'm gonna lose.
Sometimes my head, even if it takes all night, I'm gonna play pretend, pretending I'm alright. I don't need emotion to tell me. It was a good productive weekend. Yeah. Lots of things checked off the list. Could have done it without you. Thanks. Uh, it was a it was a pleasure. <laughs> it was a pleasure. And yeah, and also never forget to put um, play on your list. You know, like we did, hanging out with a couple friends and going to beautiful nature and relax a little bit in between all that work. Yes, yeah, so I, I did the filming this weekend, but um, I don't have editing um, or cutting skills, so Simon's gonna do that. <laughs> so this will be a true collaboration. <laughs> oh, I'm steering way off. I gotta go this way. <laughs> That's the car. Oh. Bye, Dagnan Bay. See you next time. Next time you come out here, it might be warm enough to swim. Well, it's warm enough for me to swim, but it's warm enough for normal people to swim. It's gonna be nice soon here. I will forget your face by the bottom of my glass. I'm gonna find my place in another lover's Okay, officially handing over the camera back to Simon. How was it? Difficult. Um, putting a lot of pressure on myself to do a good job.